Hello there, welcome to Blink and Beep. Thanks a lot for choosing to watch this video. In this video, we will find out about how to share your phone's mobile data, which is the 5G or 4G internet, to your Wi Fi router through Ethernet tethering. Let's get started. So why we are doing this? We could simply turn on mobile hotspot and uh, people could connect directly to your phone. But there is one advantage to this. Uh, it is the distance the Wi-Fi signal can reach to. With hotspot, you can cover only about uh, 30 to 50 feet. Uh, but whereas a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi channel could reach up to uh, somewhere between 150 to 300 feet. So that is a huge difference actually. And one other reason is that you have your daily mobile data that is left unutilized. You could share it this way and get it utilized quickly. There could be many other reasons, but uh, I'm not getting it right now. Now, what are the things we will need to get this done? Uh, we will need a Wi-Fi router, your Android mobile that supports Ethernet tethering, an Ethernet cable, and an Ethernet adapter. This is a Type-C to Ethernet adapter. Uh, since my phone has got the USB Type-C port, and pretty much most of the latest Android phones have got this Type-C port, so this adapter should be fine. I got this in Amazon and the link to the product is in description, please check if needed. And uh, one other important thing to note is that I'm not sure uh, how many routers and uh, mobile models will support uh, this type of a setup to share internet. The router I have here is the TP-Link Archer C6 and the phone is Redmi Note 12 Pro that is running Android 13 in it. My router is actually powered on and it is missing the input network connection and uh, so we don't see any LED blinking for the network connection here. Next step, I'm connecting my Ethernet cable to the WAN port in my router, which is usually where we would connect our incoming network from providers. Next step is to connect the other end of the Ethernet cable to my uh, Ethernet adapter. And then to my phone. Make sure you have the mobile data turned on in your phone. And if you have a 5G phone, then set your preferred network type to 5G. Mine is a 5G phone, but uh, I don't have the 5G reception here in my place. So it is a 4G phone now. Next, we need to enable the Ethernet tethering from our mobile settings. Now, this might vary from phone to phone. In my phone, I can find this in settings, uh, portable hotspot, and uh, share via Ethernet enabling it and when I do that I can now see the green indicator right next to the uh, internet connection so right now we have an active internet connection now let us actually test it from the PC here it is already actually connected to my Wi-Fi now in the browser now once I refresh the uh, browser is also getting connected to the internet and uh, let's do a speed test now As expected, it is not fast enough because I'm connected to 4G network and the results will improve on a 5G network for sure. So that's pretty much for this video. Hope it was informational to you. Catch you in another video. Thank you. Bye bye.